What you guys got another video here for you now i always get asked all the time do i need an antivirus in 2018 and can i not just use malwarebytes or or hitman pro or mcsoft or any of those anti-malware programs and uh, to be honest with you uh, antivirus programs have been around a long time and uh, the name itself antivirus just doesn't mean nowadays it's just going to scan for viruses it will actually scan for ransomware and also um, scan for malware as well. It's just the name. So having an antivirus today in 2018, I think is just as important as it was when it was first released way back when. So what we're going to do today is just take a look at uh, two scan results here. Just a quick scan. There's nothing uh, super exciting here. So we're going to be running a scan with malware bytes. And then we're going to be running a scan with, um, say, Bitdefender or Avast or something like that, okay? And we'll see which one detects the most. Now, personally, I would not run Malwarebytes Premium on its own on a system and use it as a, uh, a one-stop shop for detecting malware or viruses or any of that type of stuff, okay? So I'd run it in conjunction with other stuff if you can. So we do have here... Uh, a malware sample folder and uh, this is not an extensive test this is just a quick down and dirty test just to show you that just running one item like this is still not going to be favorable uh, when you can just run uh, you know say an antivirus program which will probably be detect much more uh, so don't worry about the name itself and as you can see here we do have uh, some files here and here to detect okay so what we're going to do is run a scan with malware bytes first and then I'll quickly run a scan with say another a piece of software like an antivirus software like uh, Avast or Bitdefender maybe. So let's go ahead and run this scan. So I'm going to right click and scan with malware bytes. So let's go ahead and right click on the folder and run a scan with malware bytes. Now you may have heard that you can run malware bytes on its own nowadays as a, a fully fledged uh, security suite where you don't have to uh, use anything else and in my personal opinion that's not quite what I would uh, see it as it's a secondary line of defense for me still and you can see it's detected 101 uh, infections here now some of these infections are pretty bad and uh, you know there is more files on the system still so you can see here backdoor bots trojans password stealers you know there's loads of nasty stuff here trojan droppers and there's probably other bits and pieces on here as well which are pretty nasty so using this as a standalone uh, antivirus suite or anti-malware suite then i would rather use something else alongside it so i'm just going to quickly uh, remove these to the quarantine section and uh, this will remove the 101 threats to there and we can then remove those from the list so it's detected 101 threats. It will need a reboot, so I'll go ahead and do that right now. Okay, so let's move on to Bitdefender here. I've got the exact same files on the system. And as you can see here, they're exactly identical. And I'm going to run a scan with uh, Bitdefender. Now I've quickly installed this. It's fully updated. And uh, we can go ahead and run a scan. So all I need to do here is enable the protection shield and right click and run a scan with Bitdefender and there is some password files in here as you can see and it's asking me for the password or to skip these files so I'm just going to quickly skip these ones and uh, it can't it can't um, scan passworded files as you can see here so I'm just going to quickly skip those and let those uh, go ahead and you see we're already up and we've surpassed now Malwarebytes is 101 infected files and we'll just let this run along and there we go so we'll take a bit of time but it is detecting more than Malwarebytes now that doesn't mean that Malwarebytes is rubbish and we shouldn't use it it just means that it's not detecting as much as Bitdefender and in my personal opinion that just means that you need to use that as a secondary line of defense rather than your main uh, you know main protection software 
and we're moving up into the 200s nearly now up, up to 100 there we go 201 and it's climbing still and as you can see that's over double the detection rate of malware bytes already 236 to be exact so I think you see the clear winner here is Bitdefender uh, by removing 236 infections from that system now obviously there's other things to take into account but the detection rate is very high compared to Malwarebytes now that's not to say that Malwarebytes is rubbish and you shouldn't purchase it or you shouldn't buy it this is not about discriminating against one uh, company against the other this is just to bring awareness to people that believe that you don't need to run antivirus programs anymore and you can just get away with running say malware bytes and that is not the case so I'm just going to remove the rest of these here and I may even do a quick scan with Avast just to show you uh, what Avast does so let's move on and remove the rest of these and that's that they're all gone and we can close this off now so all in all Bitdefender done a pretty good job there let's just see how many files are left here 90 files left which is pretty good now remember the ones that got left behind are probably the ones that are in passworded uh, protected protected files so it can't scan those as you can see here so let's go ahead and do a quick scan here with Avast uh, just to make it a bit fair so we can see two antivirus programs free ones and also uh, one paid malware by its premium so I'm just going to quickly enable the shields here and do a quick scan on this malware folder and uh, we'll let that scan complete and uh, we'll see what it detects and uh, there we go 236 so as you can see still over double the amount compared to malware bytes what that has detected and it's done a pretty good job so again can you just rely on one uh, piece of software like malware bytes uh, to protect your system the answer to that is probably no and uh, as you can see here uh, the proofs in the pudding and you can see two scans with two free antivirus programs that have done a pretty good job anyway I hope this video answers all your questions and as you can see it does a pretty good job at protecting your system still today so antivirus is still alive and kicking anyway my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk now if now. you haven't subscribed yet hit the big red subscribe button on my youtube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.